hit that like button just like Tyson. What's that word, family? Hey, man, check this out. Yo, Uncle Low got a story to tell. No, 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 no. I know y'all saying Uncle Low, Uncle Low, you've been telling us stories all week long. It's bad time now. It's time for us to go to sleep so we can wake up tomorrow and be productive citizens. But this story has to be told. It's a scary story, ladies and gentlemen, brought to you by one of the most dangerous, violent groups of people in America, the single black mother. Why do you call the single black mother a dangerous and violent group in America, Uncle Low? You might ask me. Well, let me explain it to you. It's real simple. The single mother is very violent. I just gave you guys another story in which we talked about a single mother jumping onto a school bus to attack preteens, 11 and 12 year olds. They said something about her daughter, so she decided to jump on a bus and get beat down by a bunch of 12 year olds. How much sense did that make? She ended up arrested and getting donkey of the day by Charlemagne the God. Yes, she did. Now this is not the same person, but yet and still, it's the same characteristics. She's outside with a pair of boxer shorts on, y'all. Hanging onto a car. Got a windshield wipers, ladies and gentlemen. This is a good story. I'm gonna sit back and give me some popcorn just to watch it again. And I'll be back with more news and commentary after I play this video. Peace. <laughs> Boxer shorts, scarf. <laughs> hey man, the nigga that was recording the video crashed his car into the car that he was following. How wild is that? But guess what? That man was raised by a single mother. And you know how I know? It's because he said, fucking with these people. I didn't toot my car up. Nigga, you can't drive. Why was you following them if you can't drive? You hit that nigga car at a red light. He probably was looking at the camera while he was driving. Like, I got him good in the picture. I can see him there in the frame. Crash this shit, you dumb motherfucker. Then he had the nerve to say, on the balls. <laughs> this new generation of niggas, I'm telling y'all, raised by single mothers from the 90s. Oh my God. Look at this right here, right? We got a woman hanging onto a vehicle. Man pulls off. He's swinging back and forth as he's trying to throw her ass off the car at 50 miles an hour. You know what I'm saying? Then we got this guy following behind him, recording a goddamn video, and he ended up crashing into him. Who did more damage? The dumb chick trying to break the window out or the goofy nigga trying to record the shit for real stuff? Y'all tell me in the comment section. Who did the most damage there? But I'm gonna tell you this. The guy that was following them, he was raised by a single mother. I can guarantee you that. The reason I know he was raised by a single mother is because like I said, when he crashed his car, he blamed it on them. Fucking with y'all, man, I done crashed my car. Yeah, cause you's a goofy. But back to that sandal wearing scarf having boxes short outside female. How retarded is she, man? I didn't dealt with a couple of females like her in the past, and maybe it's a couple of them coming up in the future. I'm not sure, but what I do know is I'm trying to stay the fuck away from single parents. They have nothing to lose. A woman that comes outside with a scarf on her head and boxer shorts on has nothing to lose but her life. You know what I'm saying? She ain't even got her kids to lose because they already took by the state. She ain't got her job to lose because she'd rather sit on unemployment. Look at her. This is the women that we got to pick from. You know what I'm saying? 
jump on your car, destroy your property, because they're butt hurt. Yeah, I said it. They're butt hurt. And not because he probably stuck his ding dong in the bing bong, but because she's just butt hurt and ugly and wearing sandals. Period. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about this particular story in the comment section. I'll be back later with more news and more commentary. Take it from your old Uncle Lo. Don't go out like this simp or this female. Please. Peace.